problema que yo veo en the problem that I see, uh, your talk was impressive. I think we should publish it in its entirety, or convert it into a seminar for reflection for politicians. What, what you're asking for is a change in attitude to You've talked about the Donostia International Physics Center and these changes in attitude, which seem very simple, very subtle, are often difficult, become difficult because society is led by inertia. Society today is afraid and it uh, brings everything to a standstill. And uh, I hope all of us here will be able to have an influence on changing the direction, changing the path. But the politicians have their own fears, their own inertions, and crisis has uh, increased uh, all of this instead of looking for long-term solutions. So I congratulate you on your talk, although I am concerned because everything that you've uh, suggested should be easy to achieve but I think it is going to be extremely difficult in the present circumstances. Einstein said that uh, one at the start that the only fear is the fear of crisis, of not changing. Of course it's not easy, but I'm optimistic because uh, pessimism, especially in public, doesn't take us anywhere. Indeed, it is a change of attitude, and I think everything is possible. A society that doesn't believe in itself will never do anything that is worthwhile. So we must be austere, we must be honorable. We, we, in reality, however bad it is, must not be covered up by false appearances. I don't share the tendency that uh, exists today to put down politics because uh, those who do this are wrong. If there is a person uh, who shouldn't hold the post that he has hold, held, rather, shouldn't have to wait years and years to be put on trial. This should be done directly, immediately. Normally, people, the politicians, are all very uh, correct and honest. I remember when I worked with them uh, a long time ago, and I really respect politicians. But this change in attitude, again, as I say, is, is very difficult. But I think we're on the right path. And crisis can help us. It can help us because it is making us recons reconsider our values, our behavior even though it is just to try to, to, just to be able to survive. And we've seen how some apparent successes were only with fraud, banality. Maybe we have realized that doing things well should be rewarded. And it makes us reconsider the role of education, science, technologies. I know that I've run marathons in terrible weather. You, if you want to, you can reach the um, finish line. Uh, good morning. First of all, I would like to know your opinion about the relationship that could be established between tradition and innovation, more specifically here in Navarre, where we have a lot of traditions, the different infrastructures. How could you relate the two aspects, tradition and innovation? Well, I believe 
the most innovative uh, people are people who respect their tradition. Uh, Switzerland, Finland, the Americans have less, fewer traditions rather, but those they've got they do respect, or Israel. You always have to think, where are we coming from, where are we going? It's important to know where we've come from, to know where we are going. Well, the Basque people, the uh, people from Navarra, uh, always add a question, which is, uh, is uh, where we come from, where are we going, and where are we going to eat? is what we add here. So I think uh, tradition is essential for innovation. When the French uh, ambassador asked uh, Master from Trinity College, how can you have this fantastic, immaculate garden? What do you do? Well, the gardener. And how long you've been doing this? 800 years. So it's tradition. And it's essential. No uh, vices that have been considered as uh, tradition. That's corruption. Thank <laughs> you.